My name is Arlette. I'm one of the Cancer Center Infusion Nurses, and I'm going to go over the donning and doffing of PPE specifically for chemotherapy. So when you are getting ready to administer your chemo, the first thing you're going to want to do is wash your hands. And then after checking your doses with your um, second co-signer, you can put on all of your PPE to get ready to administer chemo. So you need two sets of chemo certified long cuff gloves. We have these pink gloves. If they're not in stock, you can use two sets of the long cuff blue gloves, but these are made to go underneath. They're nice and slippery for double gloving. So with the pink gloves, you'll wanna put those on first. And then the chemo certified gowns uh, just depends on what we have in stock. So some of them go over your head, some of them tie around the neck. These ones that we currently have happen to go over the head. So you'll put that on and then there is a tie in the back. After you have your, your gloves and gown on, you'll put on your second pair of gloves. So you'll always want to make sure to cover the fabric of the gown with the second pair of gloves. So if there was to be a chemo spill, you wouldn't get chemotherapy through that fabric onto your skin. If you keep the cuff down by your fingers and kind of hold it with your other fingers while you put this one on, that holds it pretty well to get it on over. So with your chemotherapy, all of your medicine should come primed in the bag and you'll notice that we have these connectors that come on the end of chemo. So this piece comes from pharmacy and then the piece that you have on the chemo cart, this goes onto the um, port that you have, the hub that you have on the IV fluids. So you want to use the hub that is closest to the patient and generally all of your chemotherapy is gonna come in a primary. Uh, you'll hook it up as a primary as opposed to a secondary. If a patient was gonna have a reaction to their medication and you had it as a secondary, you wouldn't have that saline there ready to go um, as your emergency medicine. You would have your line full of chemotherapy. So once you put that on there, you can clean that hub again. And actually, I'm gonna hang my chemotherapy first. Go ahead and put this into the pump, trying to take care not to actually touch um, too much of the pump. You will need to close the door, but at that point is where I stop, and I don't touch the buttons with my blue gloves. Clean that port that you're gonna hook up to, and then this piece comes off and this snaps on. So why do we have this connector? This is a part of the USP 800. This is a closed system device. So when you detach this, in theory, there is absolutely no chemotherapy on that hub protecting you from any kind of exposure. So those snap together. At this point, you would doff your first pair of gloves, which is sticking to my watch. Take those, put them in your yellow bucket, and now you can touch the pump. If you have somebody coming in behind you and they're also touching the settings on the pump and you have those blue gloves on, they could potentially get chemotherapy on their hands from touching the pump. So now I would go ahead and set the pump. And then I would leave it exactly like this with my settings on here. The second person can come in, open all of the clamps, check the settings for the rate and press start on the infusion. So with you leaving, the next step is to remove your gown. These are tear away. Ball all this up. Take off this pair of gloves and all of that goes in the yellow bin and that's it.